My brothers and sisters in Christ, as the season of Christmas goes on, uh, the octave is now complete, but we remain in the season of Christmas, we begin to hear, especially in the gospel, some repetitions from the infancy narratives, from the beginnings of the gospels, some passages that we've already reflected upon. But the first reading that we hear today from the first letter of John reminds us of the opportunity of this time as we continue to unpack the mystery of Christmas to avoid spiritual amnesia. It's perhaps the great ill of our day that we need to remain rooted in what we have heard, the mystery that we know. And this is what John warns against. The one who denies that Jesus is the Christ is the Antichrist, the one who denies the Father. In fact, the spirit of every age, the spirit of the world, is always a denial of Christ. The love of God is subversive of the spirit of the world. And so, it's not just enough that we acknowledge Christmas or that we celebrate it for a day, but this must be a mystery that we internalize so greatly that it's not lost, that we're rooted in it changes everything for us. Because the voice will constantly be in our ear, at our heart from so many different directions to let go of this to deny Christ, if not, in fact, by our witness of our lives, our priorities. There are a million ways we can, uh, we can deny Christ death by paper cut through our sins. This is what the spirit of the age and the world says, and bet if we are people who, like Mary, truly hold the mysteries of God and reflect on them in our heart at all times, then we will not forget, we will not develop this spiritual amnesia and our lives will have proper orientation in all things. And so, may we take the mystery, the great gift we have received in this new year, as good as it is to, to you know, do more exercise and all, all the things that people fill up their the New Year's resolutions with. Those are great things. I'm not speaking against them. But to truly pray, to hold these mysteries actively in our heart, and to live by them, to snap out of spiritual amnesia and live each and every day for God is the greatest resolution we can make. May God bless you all. <music>